morning guys welcome back so today we started doing a bit of wet sanding last night on this blue body now the reason I've done that is we had a bit of orange peel and I wanted it perfectly flat so this has had two coats of blue we're gonna wet sand it get it flat for its third and final coat so that just goes on a little bit better We've sanded it all those runs out there and I've just gone round. I found a little bit down there, so I've sanded that back and I've just worked along. I've given it all a little gentle rub down just for the next coat to key better. So you can see it's got a bit of orange peel in it. It's not perfectly flat, but I'm not a professional painter. I don't claim to be. But I don't think it's a bad job at all. Oh, that's where we sanded those little runs out there. So we've done all this back section, that's all done. Pan you around here. All this section's done. We've gone all round the door, all the way around. That's all done. Um, yeah, we've done this front quarter here, so we've still got this bit, oh, that's where I got to, so I've done the top section there, I've still got to do this bit, and then I'll just work my way around the front and to that side. So that's where we're at, but this thing looks incredible, honestly, I'm so happy with how it's turned out, I've seen all blue dust fucking everywhere. But we're not bothered about that. You know, we'll tidy up afterwards. Right. Let's get to it. Let me set you up on tripod and we'll get this sanded. We're getting there with it. So we've done all this section now. We're just working up this door pillar here, and then we're ready. We'll get it all washed down, get it degreased, and we'll be getting a third coat of paint on it. Right, we've got all that wet sanding now. Yeah. So we're gonna give all this body a good wash. Got my bucket of water there, look. I've just finished washing bike. You'll see that in a video, maybe before or after this one. I don't know yet, we'll see. Right, we're gonna try and mix up some more paint without spilling it everywhere this time. Now we mix this at a ratio of two to one. Two parts paint, one part activator. Or hardener, same thing. I've had this paint in the house, keeping nice and warm, so it flows much better out of the gun. There we go. That's two. Bring in the hardener. So we top this up to the one line. There we go. Two to one. We give that a really good mix. Get that. Now that's a colour.
No, my tent's blown away. Bastard. So that's the aftermath. No more gazebo to work under. Let me show you this. I don't know if you can see that. But I've got a tiny little pin brick hole there. And it's just squirting fluid out. You ready for this? Wow, that's a lot of mould. Not nice at all. A load of bits and pieces. We've just brought battery back on it. It's not been on for about three months. So, we fall. Oh, bloody hell, I just walked in front of that oil. Would you look at that? Look at all the mould what's developed. Wow, that's bad. Real bad. So, that seat I've already cleaned off. That's back to normal. I've cleaned up the wheel. I'm just going to work on the centre console. I've got a bit on the headliner. Let's get it all cleaned up. Get it back to how it was. What a difference that makes. Nice and clean. We've got a bit on carpet down here. But all that carpet's getting replaced. So I'm not even going to bother. I know it's getting a new interior as well, but I just wanted to get all that mould out of here. Right, let's start in back. So this is the back. Pretty bad. Right, let's get it all cleaned up. Good morning guys, welcome back. There she is. So you can see there's no marquee. That blew away in the storm we had a couple of weeks back. I've tried to buy enough for marquee, it's gonna take eight weeks. So I said, no, can't wait that long, forget about that. So I've booked it into a body shop to get professionally sprayed and finished. Now, one of my friends owns this body shop, so that's good. It was a guy who painted my uh, remote control truck for me, which I'll show you here. I'll quickly walk you around it. We cut the openings in the doors because we had a bit of mould on the inside. So I had to cut that, clean it all. But you'll see that in one of the other videos. So I think at this point we are about four weeks in front of what you're actually seeing on YouTube. So by the time you see this video, this will be fully painted and back here, almost finished. Unless I can speed it up and get a few videos out during the time that's getting painted. We'll see. But I've got a flatbed truck on its way, we're going to load it up, we're going to take it down to their shop. I'll show you around their shop introduce introduce you to them and we'll go from there <laughs> 